Drones are increasingly powerful tools in the plant sciences. In this video, we'll discuss the drone-based methods needed to answer a variety of scientific questions. These methods are rapidly advancing and are applicable to multispectral, RGB, and thermal cameras. The pipeline starts with mission planning. Mission planning apps allow the user to specify the area that will be mapped, which is shown here in blue, and the route that the drone will automatically fly to capture the imagery, which is shown here in green. Mission planning apps allow the user to specify the altitude of the drone's flight, the angle of flight, the degree of overlap between images, and several other variables. Using a mission planning app ensures that the images captured are at a uniform spacing and cover the entire field. Once the mission plan has been saved, the aircraft is ready to set up in the field. This typically involves attaching cameras, loading batteries, and checking the condition of the hardware. Be sure to comply with all local and institutional requirements to make sure your flights are safe and legal. Many cameras, including most multispectral cameras, will require a radiometric calibration before flight. This involves taking images of a target of known reflectance value. Multispectral cameras are often controlled independently of the aircraft through a Wi-Fi connection. This can be done using a tablet or a phone. These interfaces allow the user to specify the triggering of the multispectral camera, which is often different than that of other cameras on board the aircraft. Once the camera settings have been saved, you're ready to fly the mission. Image capture is automatic, and the aircraft performs the flight without manual control. After the flight, the SD card can be removed, allowing the user to see the images taken during flight. These can then be processed into reflectance maps, digital surface models, and a variety of other 2D and 3D outputs. This stage generally requires little more than specifying which images to process and which outputs to generate. Different processing algorithms are optimized for different types of cameras and goals. Consider checking the software's documentation to make sure you're using an algorithm that works well for your needs. The calibration images taken before flight can also be uploaded or checked at this stage. Increasingly, these are read in automatically based on QR codes on the calibration panels. Once the settings have been specified, processing can begin. Processing usually takes a few hours, depending on the number of images. When it's complete, you can load your output rasters, such as reflectance maps and digital surface models, into GIS software. In this tutorial, we'll discuss three major QGIS functions that are extremely powerful for extracting drone data. The first of these functions is the raster calculator. The raster calculator allows the user to determine vegetation indices, distinguish plants from soil, and take many other types of data. Developing classification layers to distinguish plants from soil, for example, can be done in a matter of seconds. The second major tool is called Create Grid. This function allows you to place a series of rectangular polygons over your field each of which specifies the position of a single plot. The third and final function discussed here is called Zonal Statistics, which allows you to assign your data to your grid of plots. Once you've calculated your zonal statistics, the data will be stored in attribute tables. These can then be copied and pasted into Microsoft Excel or other programs, and can then be compared with ground truth data or other drone-based measurements. Recent advances in hardware and software have greatly improved the utility of drones. The high precision and high throughput nature of data captured by drones makes them increasingly valuable for the future of plant and environmental sciences.